So, I knew that this day was coming, but I did not think that it would be here so quickly after launch. And what I mean is we're like finally turned in the corner to where strategy and team composition are way more important than just overall team power and using your most powerful units. Here's what I mean. What it do, it's your boy LA Summers, and we are back with another Naruto to Boruto Ninja Tribes video. And I had a hypothesis because, as you can see, today I have um, actually six starred my Naruto. I six starred him just, you know, through the event, and I don't think I ever summoned him. I just got all of them frags through. Just running his own um, elite missions and now if you didn't see my how to farm units video i'll link it in the description i mean honestly i probably just go and put on them um, one of them you know I, i'll figure it out but out of the way right this right here is my um pvp team and that's like I, I had a hypothesis earlier because i'm looking at my team and i'm like our power is decent. I mean, 154, that's that's decent as of, what, April 2nd, 2020. You know, that's 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 up there. You know what I'm saying? But it's definitely not, you know, the, the 200 of ones I've seen, uh, 189, you know. But um, I was thinking earlier, and I'm like, I think that this team can outperform it's team power you know and what i mean by that is like normally when we go into arena right you see a team who has a higher team power than you you really don't even want to chance it because you're like uh, i only get 10 a day and that's if i even decide i want to use my shinobi coins you know what i'm saying so you normally would keep on like going after people weaker than you but just because the enemy team has a higher team power than yours does not mean that they can beat you like when it comes down to the nitty gritty all right so this is my team composition as of currently i'm actually thinking i'm going to switch around and move my spirit team to my force team but for now this is just how it is and this is how i have this team so i have kabuto Mitsuki and Tamari all together all right and if if I have things go my way they'll all get killed really quickly you know what I mean because Kabuto he gives the his passive skill lowers the enemy's entire team's defense for the rest of the battle as of right now I want to say it is 31 percent ish um Mitsuki has the same skill uh even though i believe his is a little bit less but it would make sense because kabuto is an sr and miski is an r which means that they're going to be pretty much recycling some of these um passive skills in which case we can maybe and hopefully expect a ur maybe attack tree i don't know maybe pain but i will assume it'll be like an attack ur who has a similar passive that will lower the enemy's defense by 35 percent or 40 percent you know we'll see you know game is still new just all theories but as the way and tamari she increases all and in, all allies attack by i want to say 12 or 13 percent right now at um level 50 and that's also for the whole game right you know naruto he's a six star we all got him you know he's um a strong unit he gets a buff 
when any time like any time that an ally is defeated which is why i left my you know kabuto and my miski and tomorrow well, actually i think my miski right now um he's on tier 11 but i left my tamari and my kabuto they're like my lowest of priorities right now because i actually want them to die it's like go ahead kill them because then the rest of my team is gonna get busy on that ass right so I should go back into the team one more time real quick. Okage Naruto, he's a tank. He has a similar um ability where he gains 8% anytime an ally is killed. We let all of our tactical units get killed. And then we run the gauntlet from there because, I mean, the meta is pretty much all attack anyway. There's only a handful of, like, defensive units just parry on this game. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's a handful of units on this game, but more than likely everybody's gonna use like the most popular units but you know the naruto's the sasuke it's a ur just because the urs you know and then if you got gar you might want to run the sand siblings like people want to get their tribes together and all of that right now i'm not necessarily feeling tribes per se but i also don't have gar but like i know like a lot of times you run into this like sticky situations especially in arena where it's always auto because like okay so all of these that was the both of these were sent passed through the ages or whatever hokage naruto or shippuden naruto and boruto they're both single targets sometimes it's better if you had a combination attack you can launch three damn jutsus wipe out the whole team take no damage keep it moving you know what i'm saying but it's all um auto so you can't you know pick and choose your spots but what you can do is select where you need, want your units to attack and when you are selecting your units right i'm actually going to switch my guy and kakashi around because i need kakashi to attack first see i don't need god attack first i just need him in the cell for you know, the speed as you see i um, have my three fastest units with my speed bonus you know so plus 275 speed i am currently attempting to max out all of our vitalities for arena hp but it costs a lot of value but and maybe oh i should say and hopefully a little under a week we should have everyone's you know vitality hp arena percentage maxed out and also you guys want to pay attention to what it is your vitality does so you see i have kakashi attacking first when you get him to level 20 on his um initial vitality he gets plus 10,000 chakra okay plus 10,000 chakra initially which means as soon as the game starts he just launches the special launches his ninjutsu so you want to watch for that okay i mean if they attack you first they might do it, but everyone has been prioritizing vitality. And it's super, super important. It's like hidden potential in Dokkan battle. It's, it's like night and day between a unit who has all it maxed out and a unit with nothing invested into it. So you really want to you know, pay attention to that. I actually want to show you guys. Let me go to my records real quick. I believe it shows team power. Uh, it don't really show team power, but um, you can see right here. I mean, my current team power right now, I want to say it's what, 154? Yeah, 154, and you can see I have um, I beat a 158, 159, 159, and you know, everybody else. <coughs> yeah, my boy Cash Ketchum, he been, he been here for a minute. I'll be seeing him literally every single day and all of that. But let's actually go into one of these fights real quick. I'm going to go into the fight with Olivet because Olivet has the highest team power. And I'm going to show you what I mean when I say, like, we finally hit the point where, like, team power is, like, scouters in Dragon Ball Z. It, it, it's shit. It doesn't, it doesn't mean anything after you hit a certain point, but that certain point is level 55 because at level 55, 
you get to tier 11. Tier 11 is when you get the arena HP percentage. Arena HP percentage is not reflected in your team power, okay? It's not reflected. So I can have my whole team with double the HP and the enemy would never know. Okay, now you see right here, right? My Tamari's dead. You see the little Naruto face on the Tamari? Her passive skill is still in effect. And now I got her weak ass completely off the game. All right. Guy is gonna attack first. Kakashi is gonna one shot somebody. And all right, 58k, that's cool, right? But if they were invested into HP arena percentage, or I should say arena HP percentage, odds away, that would not have one shot because I forgot to move my Kakashi all the way to the left. So it's weird, but it's like, all right, on the unit select screen, all the way to the left is going to be the unit who's all the way to the right here. And what I mean by all the way to the left, all the way to the right, all right. The unit all the way to the left attacks first. So you want to have your attackers attacking first. Your buffers, so anyone who's gonna increase the team attack or the cell attack, or if they, like I said, like Akashi, if he attack first, then he will, um, you know, do more damage. Or like Kiba, if he attacks first, then he has, um, I believe it's fifteen percent increased attack for the cell. You know what I mean? So you want to really pay attention to, you know, that, or like. You want to have a lot of different um, try specials on your team, but at the same time, you do not want to have only three, you know, three unit try specials because, I mean, like, if you're attacking first every time, it doesn't matter, but it still does because what if, right, you have sand siblings, right? And you say, okay, yeah, I'm attacking first. It's like, fine, you attack first, but you don't kill Kakashi, and Kakashi comes out and one shot or or, Nar or Naruto or Sasuke, anybody, they come out and they just one shot Tamari, right? That's it. You know what I'm saying? And if they and if they happen to go first, because let's keep it funky, the Sand Siblings aren't that fast, you know, then they'll kill any one of your units. It doesn't matter which one. If they kill a unit, now you don't even get a chance to attack at all because you had a three man trial special, you know what I mean? So theoretically, you can run no tribe specials and every time you would have used a tribe special you'll just do three ninjutsus and that's fine you know that's how i um kill the sasuke's of the world kill these um the hokage naruto and the drills because like i said you know my first couple of runs through i wasn't really sure but uh, I was just, you know, using trial special just because it was cool. But now it's kind of... Uh, but I, actually, if we get back to this head battle, where, like I said, they have a whole lot more team power. But when you look at the speed, we are way faster. So we get to just kill them and, you know, stifle any momentum that they can even try to get. So, Mitsuki, he does crowd control when he uses his um, active skill. If you stun someone, especially an attacker. Oh, I don't know why I thought he was going to stun. Anyway, if you stun someone, especially an attacker, like, not only would it not attack that turn, so you could potentially not take any damage for a turn, then they won't attack or move off rotation. Thus, you know, pretty much molly whopping their whole strategy or whatever. And that's it. It's like, yeah, you see... You have your fastest units on, you know, the speed team or whatever, because even when other units start dying, like I said, like I said, all my tactical units, they just here for support. They die, whatever. They survive, whatever. You know what I mean? But like, even when they start dying off, that just gives my more powerful units, like, more time to shine. You know what I'm saying? It's like the difference between like, college basketball when it's like stay in the system and everybody take equal shots it's like no 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 all right get a ball to kobe all right get a ball to jody let them do all the damage let them put in this work and y'all do your job y'all stay out the way all right that's what you need to support you in this doing that's what support units do all right you go play defense and you get the fuck out my face 
that's what I need you to do. All right. Now, if I need my Mitsuki tomorrow, or whoever to take a couple of tacks to the face for us to get a dub, yo, so be it. And like, even look like like right here, right? What is he doing? I'm missing. You're not you're not killing nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, why does the AI just constantly attempt to you know fuck me over? They could try. Now then, right? You see, like, at this situation, right? Oh, man, that's why. But that's why. They are not gonna... I mean, even if they kill someone, they're not gonna kill everybody. I don't remember these fights, obviously. But... What do you want? <laughs> you know, when I, I, I was at work earlier, um... And I was like, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna play out. Because... It's like the AI just intentionally be doing dumb shit. Like, look at this. Look at this. Why? 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 And then I and then I just take two damn jutsu to the face. Why? Now look at that boss right there, right? He took 33k and then he took another 25k. So he just took 58 or so k to the face. And it wasn't even like a quarter of his HP. Or maybe maybe it was a little bit more than a quarter of HP. Maybe about 35% of his HP maybe. You know? And that's fine. You have to invest, y'all. Invest in your like in your arena HP. Okay. Just do it. Just do it. Even if you're like, oh, but it's only an arena. Yeah, but arena is the easiest. I want I want to say fastest way to get all rush up, but I mean you're talking about if you get top 100, that's 200 coins a day. You know, 1400 coins a week. Not counting your other coins from your missions, which I believe is 70? 50, it's like 50 or 70, and then you get another 15 coins or so from your Tower of Eternity. You get another 50 on. Either way, you get like 400 coins a day, alright? So, when you start looking at, you know, you could do more summons, you can say, have a summon. I'm gonna go and buy 80 R shards out of the blessing store because at the end of the day, it's actually more value to buy those packs and get the straws for specifically who you want than it is to just blow your coins and get a random. But when the summon randomly, you have a chance to get Oh, you are hopefully right but i mean we just talk about you know number statistics and like essentially results so that's the way uh that's this is what i want to go over real quick um shout out to who asked me about this no one asked me about this it's my next video that i'm gonna get into <laughs> i uh that's the way uh thanks for watching um if y'all feel like I'm misinterpreting something or I don't fully understand some y'all let me know y'all give me more information I'm always open for more information if you learn something drop a like drop a comment you know what I'm saying if y'all seen this video and y'all are not sub to the reddit sub to the reddit we almost said 2k you know and I think at and when the beta launched is that what a little bit over a thousand you know, so like, like maybe what, maybe eleven hundred because I remember um, we had just hit we hit sixteen when I was like already doing videos. You know what I'm saying? But as way well, y'all really start to pay attention to your team composition. Don't just use units just because like oh well oh hey I got my Konohamaru on five star six star. It's like so what? Okay, what is he going to do for your strategy? What is he going to do for your team? Do you, doesn't matter if he has an extra 45% defense when every team you go up against is lowering defense by 45%. You see what I'm saying? That he's a tactical unit. And it's like, okay, well, how many defense units are like super relevant? We got Guy, Gara. I mean, I, I didn't see anyone really run Orochimaru too much like that. I see Choji's here and there. 
and she, you know, he's he's all right. You know what I'm saying? But, but ultimately, oh, Daria, Daria. Okay, I don't know what that. I don't know what he does. All right, I fought him in um something. Sai seems pretty good because. I fought him in Tower of Eternity. I believe he like just lowers chakra every turn. It's it's some some cheese like that. It is crazy, but you see, I am at sixty four, so I should have sight in two to three more days. Super hype. As the way, y'all. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, hit me up in the comments if you got any video requests. Let me know what's up. Um, if I already did a video about it, already got some information, I would just direct you to that. But um, hit me up on Reddit. Make sure you post to Reddit. Make sure if you think that you might want to start getting into this, you just go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? More information. The faster the game can grow, the more we can market it. Even though it's free marketing, I ain't gonna lie, man. Die. We gonna we gonna need a couple dollars, man, because. Man, I don't got BS, man. Or, or like, just send me like 10,000 stones a month, and we I call it even, cause these stones are expensive as hell in this game. Oh, Shinobi coins, my bad. As well, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.